Terraria is an awesome game with lots of different ways to play and enjoy it. There's also tons of tricks and tips you can do, and today I'm going to share some of my favourites with you. How's it going crew? This is Happy Days, and today we're looking at 10 tips and tricks you need to know in Terraria. To get a powerful head start early in the game, why not grab some loot from the temple? To enter the temple without first beating Plantera, simply place three platforms near the door and hammer them so they create a downwards ramp. Then walk over them whilst holding down and you're in. Grab some early loot and traps. Are you sick of running out of inventory space when you're exploring? Did you know you can almost quadruple your inventory by using a Defender's Forge stored inside a safe, stored inside a piggy bank? This way you can get an extra 120 inventory slots whilst only using a single slot in your backpack for the piggy bank. To easily farm events like the Pirate Army, simply create a small volcano trap by building a small pyramid with a 7 block wide gap at the top and lava in the base. Add one block to either side of the tip of the volcano so mobs can't jump out and stand underneath it for easy loot. Want to get infinite bait for fishing? If you have the flower boots accessory from the jungle and the golden bug net, simply stand on some grass and swing. Because the bug net auto swings and the flower boots instantly regrow the grass, you can collect infinite bait this way. For best results, try using jungle grass. One of the easiest and cheapest NPC houses in the game is what I like to call the prison design. Simply build 12 blocks high by 5 blocks wide rectangle with a workbench, chair and light source. Add two platforms on the base as this counts as a door and this design can easily create an NPC prison near your spawn. One of my favourite tricks for the early game is to use the endless liquid duplication glitch. Build a U shape with blocks and then hammer the top left or right block. With a single water bucket in your hotbar, hold down the use key and watch the water duplicate like magic. You can also use this trick for lava and honey, but because these liquids are more viscous, you'll need to wait until you see the duplicated liquids start falling before you use your bucket again. That said, it's an easy way to get lots of lava and honey in the early game. Are you playing on expert mode and want a quick and easy way to defeat the King Slime? Simply build a rope 38 tiles in the air and use a bow to shoot at the boss. King Slime needs solid ground to teleport near you, so all it can do is harmlessly jump underneath you as you fill it full of arrows for some easy loot. Talking about fishing, if you want a great way to save quest fish for the next time that angler has the same quest, simply throw the quest fish on the ground or put it in your piggy bank to allow you to catch multiple quest fish in the same day. Save the extras in a chest for the next time that you need them. Rather than selling those gravitation potions you find early on, why not try finding some floating islands? Skyware chests on these islands can contain the Star Fury, which is an excellent sword if you can get it early in the game. Want to give yourself a massive advantage against bosses? Use the spiky ball traps you got from the temple to create a heart generator. Surround a mob spawning statue, like a skeleton, in a small box and place the spiky ball trap on top. Wire it to a 1 second timer and turn it on. While you're fighting the boss, the statue mobs will continue to spawn hearts for you to help fill up your hit points. This is even more effective if you use this trick with some heart reach potions. Have you got some amazing tips and tricks I didn't mention in this video? Let me know your favourites in the comments below and your tip might be featured in the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. If you're still looking for some more videos to watch, why not check out one of these two? And here's the most important part as always, you'll stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days signing out. See ya!